Hi. This is a split wave motor speed controller for running a permanent magnet DC brush motor in an AC line. It's also a charger circuit. I have a voltmeter here for this battery and amp meter here for the current flowing through the battery. You can hear there's a bit of a resonance coming from the motor. So what this is using is a uh, MOSFET. Now the diodes in this diagram are not a uh, bridge rectifier. They're not a full wave bridge. The diodes, two of the diodes are different directions compared to that. So what happens is this splits the two halves of the AC wave. You'll get one half of the wave going through the motor this way which goes and charges up this capacitor. Now this capacitor is important. Without it you have no speed control. So the AC wave goes through, charges the cap and then when the wave shifts the energy comes out and goes through the source and out the drain. This diode helps protect the transistor. So you have a DC pulse going through the charge battery and that continues back out through to the AC line. Now what you put in here in this section you can replace this battery with almost anything and you'll have a DC pulse going through it. It's not critical what you put there. Uh, this I imagine would also work for a universal motor if you ran it up through the uh, the field windings and back out. There's several different ways you could use this. I'll show uh, another one in a different video. I'm sure this could be scaled up for 120 volt or 220. Just changing the values on these different components in here. This transistor I'm sure wouldn't work. It doesn't have a high enough value. I'm using a 25k pot here which I imagine that would have to also be changed because you don't want your voltage to go too high on your gate or you'll burn out the transistor. Thanks for watching.